workers after healthcare giant Centene announced plans to relocate its headquarters to the Queen City. The company now has backed out. The Queen City News chief business correspondent Taylor Young takes us to the project site that was nearly ready to go. Many plans were put in place, but probably going to have to be changed entirely. It was once considered the largest job announcement in Charlotte history. Now the plan has vaporized. Yeah, that's a big change. In July 2020, Centene made a lot of promises. Create around 6,000 jobs and invest $1 billion into its new headquarters. This property was a wooded nature, natural place. And then all of a sudden clear cut, building constructed over the past two years and now not to be used. It's pretty devastating. Over the last two years, Justin Handy watched the 800,000 square foot building come to life. Like him, city and state leaders were optimistic with its potential. I mean, it just was a, a game changer type uh, uh, investment uh, for our city. At the time, the company's CEO said Charlotte had everything it was looking for. Now a shift in work structure is a factor behind the decision to cancel its plans. Since the announcement in 2020, Centene says 90% of its employees either work remotely or on a hybrid schedule. I'm a, also a flexible remote worker. Uh, going back to the office is probably not a thing to continue. In a city full of condensing office space, Charlotte leaders are optimistic another company or companies will take over the property. We have a standalone building there that's waiting to be occupied and hopefully we can get uh, some company ready to come in that might have uh, a different business model uh, that uh, they can appreciate uh, you know, an office space like that. Both the city and county say millions in incentives originally allotted to the company will no longer be distributed. Reporting in University City, Taylor Young, Queen City News.